Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how we can solve this problem, find dy over dx of xy equals e to the power of x minus y. So I'm going to go over the solution right now. When I see this problem, I feel like we need to simplify first before we can start taking the derivative. So I see that we have something to do with e, so I'm thinking we should do something with natural log on both sides. So let's actually try to do that. Natural log of both sides, that's just natural log of xy is equal to natural log of e to the power of x minus y. I'm just taking natural log of both sides. I know that according to the properties of logs, log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So let's apply that on the left side. We have natural log of x plus natural log of y. I'm just splitting it apart. I also know that log a to the power of b is equal to b log a. So basically I just take the exponent out front and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to have x minus y ln of e and natural log of e is just 1, right? So we don't really need that in the first place. Now I think we've simplified enough. Let's try taking the derivative. So to take the derivative, this is pretty simple. We know derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. For a derivative of natural log of y, remember, we're differentiating with respect to x. But this y can be a function in terms of x. It could be y equals 2x squared. It could be y equals square root of x minus 1. We don't know what y is. And that is why we need to apply implicit differentiation. So we're going to take the derivative as we would regularly do. Natural log of y, which is 1 over y but we're going to do dy over dx because we want to apply implicit differentiation since y is a function of x. Moving on to the right side, we know that derivative of x is just 1 and same thing over here, dy over dx, once again applying implicit differentiation. Now let us group the dy over dx terms together. So we have 1 over y plus 1 dy over dx equal to 1 minus 1 over x. I'm going to simplify both sides. I'm going to have 1 plus y over y, dy over dx, taking common denominator, x minus 1 over x, dy over dx is equal to y, x minus 1 over x, 1 plus y. And that is our final answer.